Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today as I review this fabulous new foundation from L'Oreal. It's called the Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. Absolutely love this. I've been wearing this for the past three days and quite honestly, I've been blown away by it, but I've got to wipe that off the slate because we're going to be doing a wear test today. And in just a few moments, I'll be putting it on for you. I'll show you exactly how I put it on and how it looks initially. And then I'll do a couple of more wear tests throughout my day so you can see how it's wearing. And let me tell you some of the things that they said about this foundation. I have my little cheat sheet here from the Ulta website. It says it's an ultra thin liquid that goes on smoothly to give a fresh, healthy looking complexion that lasts. And I have it on right now and I really do think it looks fresh and healthy. It says the color stays true and blends in evenly so your makeup looks fresh all day and that is what I've been experiencing in the last few days for sure. It has 30 shades so your shade will be there and what I really like about it is that it has an SPF of 25. Really like that. I do wear sunblock every day and I'm convinced that that's one of the reasons my skin looks pretty good at 60 plus is that I have worn sunblock every single day of my life since age 35 or so. But every little bit of additional SPF helps. One thing I will tell you though is that perhaps in pictures you could get a little bit of a flashback because foundations with SPF can do that so do be aware of that. And I can't wait to share this with you so let me take off this makeup and we'll get started. Okay, here I am up close and personal. I did my eyes this morning and I do have no foundation on my face and I'm starting with this. I guess that's obvious since this is a foundation wear test. This is the Maybelline Master Prime and I really do like this little drugstore primer. It says blur and illuminate and I really feel like it looks very close to my Smashbox Pore Minimizer. There it is. I put that primarily in my T-zone, maybe a little bit more. And it's a nice silicone-based primer that just really does kind of blur out your pores, which I have huge pores on my, especially the inner part of my face, because I have oily skin and had lots of acne as a younger person. And uh, I have to say, I was 50 years old when I got my last pimple, maybe even in my early 50s. And it was a terrible price to pay all of those years fighting that acne. But now I think my skin is not as wrinkly as it would be had I had nice, beautiful, dry skin and no pimples. <laughs> so see, God doesn't give bad gifts. So there is that primer on there. And I absolutely have heard fabulous things about this little drugstore foundation all over the internet. And many people say that you don't need a primer with this, but I do like primer. So I'm going to go ahead and use a primer. And I'm going to put it on with my little beauty sponge here. And this is just a, just a dupe. I think it's probably the Ulta Beauty Blender type dupe. I've got to remember not to go over my eyelids <laughs> since I already have my eye makeup on. And I'm going to work today. That's why I don't have my hair extension in. Oh, this goes on just absolutely beautiful. Look at that beautiful finish. Absolutely lovely. And I love the way this looks. It's a medium coverage foundation that is buildable to full. And I know this because I've been wearing it the last few days. In fact, I can't not wear it. I like it so much. I like it just as well as my higher end foundations. Pat, pat, pat. You know, it's a little more work to use a beauty blender type thing rather than my foundation brush. But I have been finding lately that I think it is applying things a little more evenly, a little more flawlessly than the brush, because sometimes, especially when I've gone a few days on the same brush, I do get the brush marks. So I do like the way that this looks. Okay, let's go over to that other cheek there. And I love the fact that this is in a pump bottle. That is fantastic. Thank you, L'Oreal. I know it's a little more expensive for them to do that, but it does keep the foundation from oxidizing because the oxygen does not get into that bottle. So it will last a lot longer sitting on your shelf. However, I have a feeling if you buy this, it won't sit on your shelf because this is a phenomenal foundation. And I have been very impressed. It says 24 hour wear, which really who needs 24 hour wear? That's probably a marketing gimmick. However, I have noticed in the last few days, normally when I'm at work about noon, I'll look at myself in the mirror finally after working all morning. And I'll say, oh my God, my foundation looks splotchy or I look oily and funky. 
And yes, I do look oily with this foundation, but I've been amazed that around the noon hour when I happen to glance at myself in the mirror, it just looks like I have really pretty skin. And uh, that is what I love. Oh, look at that. Absolutely a beautiful, beautiful look. Let's take a little bit down on the neck. I always do that. Although look at the, the blend of this. This color is, what is this color? It's 455. I don't know what it's called. I think it's the nude. I'll put the information below. I normally do very well with, uh, I sound weird. I normally do very, very well with nude foundations because I have found that I'm not really warm, I'm not really cool, I'm more neutral. And I think the nude color is more of a neutral color. I can really look like a big pumpkin if I use golden colors. And you would think looking at my hair that I would do well with a golden foundation, but my hair is fake. <laughs> I'm really a brunette. Although I started as a blonde. When I was a little baby girl, I had white blonde hair like a towhead. <laughs> well, I don't know why they call it towhead. Towhead, that's a strange, strange thing. Okay, so that is how that foundation looks. Wow. Let me make sure I've got it on evenly. It really just does look like healthy skin, and it doesn't give me that matte look. Look, I've got a little bit of, there it is. I've got a little bit of glow going which I do like that little bit of radiance. Wow, absolutely gorgeous. I do need my Tarte Shape Tape and I lost this and I'm so mad at myself because I had repurchased this again and sometimes you take for granted some things that you use all the time and I had kind of forgotten what incredible coverage the Tarte Shape Tape gives you until I lost a bottle and it was kind of sad because I had purchased it maybe about three weeks ago and you know, it's not cheap. It's somewhere in the 20s. And I had plenty left and I don't know where it went. And I didn't have it for two days. And I really, really, really appreciated the coverage that the Tarte Shape Tape gives you. I've been using this little e.l.f. concealer brush and I really, really like it. I'll link it below and I think it's maybe $2 or something like that. But it is just fabulous. And I had been using a Sigma foundation brush to uh, deal with my concealer but I like this very, very well. It's the perfect size for all of these areas. Under eyes, around your nose, a little bit on my chin, because I have a divot in my chin for some reason. Now recently I've been using this Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder to kind of set myself in the T-zone. Put a little bit there in the cap. There that is. I don't need a lot, and I have to watch it because at my more grown-up age, I can really get cakey looking and kind of old looking if I put too much powder on. Do a little bit under the eyes there. Love this powder. It is truly transparent or translucent as they say. And it just sets that makeup, knocks down a little bit of the shine without making you look cakey. Now I'll take a little swig of coffee and it is 6.30 in the morning here and I'm going to work today. And in my coffee I have my collagen powder and I have been using this now for a couple of months and my hair is growing nicely and I think I'm getting some benefits on my skin and I can't tell on my nails because I wear fake nails, but I will be doing a complete report on my hair, maybe on my birthday, I don't know, another couple of months. So far my hair is growing three fourths of an inch a month. In the last two months since I had it cut, it's grown an inch and a half, which I'm so happy about because apparently the average is half an inch a month. And so I'm hoping that maybe this collagen and some other things I'm doing in terms of supplements are really helping. Okay, next let's go in for some blush. And this is the MAC blush in the color Peaches. Love this one. Very buildable, soft and subtle. And this Peaches color is just a really good natural looking peachy tone, which we all need a peachy tone blush, even though the Peaches are more fun, I have to admit. But look at that, absolutely just beautiful. It does not have hard edges or lines. Sometimes cheaper blushes will um, not blend as nicely. Or sometimes they'll be too pigmented, like the Tarts. I have a little problem with the Tarte blushes, although they last all day long. But once they go on, they can create hard little lines which are difficult to blend out. So there's that blush. Very pretty and very natural. Now, next let's go in and do a little bit of contour. I don't do this every day at work, but I've got a little time, so I thought I would. I'm going to go in with this medium contour color with the Lorac 
brush which is provided and this is the Lorac Contour Pro palette and you put it on like that dust it off then we're just going to take the side of that brush and hands hands are a good tool and just kind of blend that in nicely and I will be doing a complete video on this product and really don't bring this down any more than the center of the eye here right under that cheekbone then use the side of the brush if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to see that video then click that little bell and you'll be subscribed to my channel and receive email notifications of my twice weekly videos I think that should be a really good video because you can change the shape of your face really with these contours and this is a fabulous palette this is fantastic <laughs> got a little vibrato going there there we go now I'm going to use a little bit of this lighter shade around my forehead but I'm not going to use this brush because I gave myself a gash in one of my last videos which was not good what brush do I use let's just go ahead and use this little eco tools brush make sure it's all wiped off so we'll go in with this lighter color nice little fluffy brush and then just kind of dust dust right along the hairline there and along the top just a little bit of darkness there to bring in the forehead maybe a little bit along the side here go in a little bit under the cheekbone again just to make sure that was all blended okay now next I'm going to go in and do my lips and I'm going to be using this MAC lip pencil in the color strip tease no it's stripped down and I like a little bit of a brown line because I'm a little lip challenged and I just think it helps my lips look a little bigger there we go now I'm going to be going in with this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the color bitch perfect <laughs> and uh, I, I normally prefer the pillow talk this is a little orange for me but we're going to try it today in part because it's $32 and I really want to get somewhere out of it that's not too bad now I'm going to go over it with a little bit of a lip gloss and this is the Fenty Beauty lip gloss in the color Fenty Glow I think and I think it tends to blend down colors you're not totally jazzed about so as the name implies that does just give you a little bit of Fenty Glow okay well that is my makeup for today and there is that L'Oreal Fresh Wear 24 hour foundation and I love this foundation and I'm going to show you some wear tests throughout the day and I promise not to powder it we'll see how it looks and about lunch I'll have an oil slick on my face but I will show you that and we'll get to take a look at that and then I'll do one final wear test at the end of the day so you can really see if it does get near 24 hour wear here is the foundation in the car on the way to work I've had it on about an hour and I just think it looks glue <laughs> gluey I think it just looks dewy and natural it's doing fine but it has only been an hour okay here I am it's 11 30 and my sister and I are about to go to lunch I'm at work and I think the foundation looks really good a little bit on the greasy side I've not powdered but I also kind of like it 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 looks I guess radiant is what they would call it and as you can see on my nose you can see my my large pores there but you know that's pretty good it is really looking good even in the this area here which normally there's a lot of separation by this time today I'd have to be really repowdering that it really does not look bad I'm not even applied lipstick again today and everything just looks very very good the foundation is holding together beautifully I just think this is a very nice foundation so far and I put it on at seven this morning seven eight nine ten eleven so it's been four and a half hours and so I'll check in later today hi again I'm not sure where to look but it is five o'clock I'm just leaving work right now and as you can tell I have no lipstick on I have not put lipstick or powder on all day which is kind of not really fair to this foundation because I would always powder at noon but anyway even though I have not done any powdering or anything the foundation still looks very nice and very skin like you know it's it's a little bit peaked but certainly I would feel really good about this 
In fact, I think I'll go ahead and put a little powder on to show you because that would give you a more fair representation of what this foundation looks like because I would never go through the day without powdering because I'm just so oily. Hold on just one moment. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and powder it just a little bit. So that's just a little bit of powder and as you can see, it really does look quite lovely. There is nothing wrong with this foundation. It is still wearing, going strong. It's five o'clock, so it's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five. Have to count on my fingers. It is nine hours and it still looks just beautiful. I think this is a fabulous foundation and I'll check in one last time later. Okay, so as you can see by the clock behind me, it is just past nine o'clock and I've been wearing this foundation since seven o'clock this morning, so it's 12 hours. And as you can see, it still looks really, really good. Amazingly good, as a matter of fact. There is really no breakup with it. Around my nose, of course, it looks red. I always lose foundation around my nose. My blush is long gone, my lipstick is long gone, but my foundation is still looking very, very good. I would doubt its claim that it does last 24 hours, but who needs it to last 24 hours? I think it looks absolutely wonderful and I'm very impressed. Well, that was a look at how the L'Oreal Fresh Wear Foundation wore throughout the day, and it was phenomenal, as you could tell. This will definitely be on my list of foundations that I use over and over again and repurchase. And if you're on a budget, or even if you're not on a budget, I would try this. This just gives you a beautiful skin-like look and it wears all day. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in using makeup, using supplements, using everything, then I hope you'll consider subscribing. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you emails of my twice weekly videos and I hope you'll watch too. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, but today I'm not going to be using the cards because I want to link a video below and share that with you because it is a tremendous thought for the day in my opinion. And basically what this relates to is on Friday I learned, well, I had the no good, terrible, rotten day on Friday. A friend of mine got in a car wreck, although thank God Jen is doing very well. I'm so happy. But I also learned on that same day that another friend of mine was diagnosed with breast cancer. And in our second half, unfortunately, we start to notice that friends around us are having medical problems and maybe we're having medical problems. And my friend asked me what my advice would be, you know, to deal with her breast cancer. And we'd already talked about, you know, all the dietary things and all that that she was doing. But my advice to her was that words are important that words are powerful. And if it were me, I would stop saying things like, it's an aggressive form of cancer, it's spreading very fast. I would just banish that stuff from my vocabulary and I would say, thank you God, I'm beautiful and healthy and strong. Thank you God, I live in total health. Thank you, anything that's coming against me is going to evaporate and you are going to come in and heal. Thank you God that your healing energy is coming down all through my body. Thank you God that every cell of my body is clothed in your beauty and your love. I would start really using my words as medicine. And I told her that I remembered that Joel Osteen's mother, you know, Joel Osteen, big Joel Osteen, the Bible guy, I remembered that her mother had had supposedly inoperable cancer and that she had healed it with scriptures and with words and with positive attitude. And so I told her I'd try to find that video and I found that video and OMG, you guys, this is a powerful video. Even if you are not sick now or you know no one who is sick now, when I watched this video, I got tingles inside because it reminded me of the power of God and the power of words and the power of faith. Even if you're not a Christian, there is a power, power, power in faith. Oh my gosh, I'm getting tingles all through my body because it is so true and we have to guard our words. We have to have positive words. We have to have faith because faith does move mountains or if it doesn't move mountains, it certainly can enrich our lives. So anyway, I'll put a link to that video below and I hope you'll take a few moments to watch it. Actually, I think it's over 20 minutes long, but it is Dodie Osteen's story and it is phenomenal. I hope you have a beautiful day, a beautiful week and a fabulous second half. Take care. See you next time.